Hi, this is Ken Oakle. People often ask me, what is your day like when you're not speaking? They may imagine me sitting by the pool, eating chocolate. That sounds pretty good, not necessarily reality. Let me give you an example of an average day when I'm not speaking. Hope you enjoy this. Good morning. I am headed off to the gym. I'm going to do an hour's worth of cardio. This is good for two reasons. First, when you're traveling to speaking engagements, it's very easy to pick up some extra calories. Perhaps more importantly, though, I want to make sure that my energy on stage stays high. Do a good workout. Make sure that I'm in good shape. So during my presentation, when I'm moving around a lot, expending a lot of energy, I'm not going to wear out halfway through. I'm going to be able to power through the talk. It all starts with a little bit of cardio. I've cleaned up. I am getting ready to have breakfast. Usually what I will do is as I'm eating my breakfast, I'll go online, quickly check my email, check out social media as well, especially LinkedIn, maybe reach out to a few potential connections. It's about mid morning and I am getting ready to record some outreach videos. Every week I send out usually about a baker's dozen. So 13 messages to meeting planners at various events where I think I might be a good match for them. So I need to do an outreach video, introducing myself, talking a little bit about my presentations, all of this in less than a minute, personalized video. Okay, here I am uh, on the video clip, got the webcam right there, which I'm gonna be looking at, I'm gonna record a video, and hopefully it will make someone think, hmm, who is this guy? I need to learn more about him. Let me break down the whole process because it's roughly half the day. I'm going to be researching organizations that might be good places for me to speak. I got to find the right contact person, their email address. Sometimes it's a little tricky to find. And then I have to record the videos. And 13 videos, they've all got to be pretty well perfect. There might be a stumble like once my stomach growled and I referenced it in the video. But usually if there's a stumble... I'm going to re-record because I want to present myself as well as I can to these organizations. Also, I almost look at these videos as today's presentations. It's as if I was going to a conference or some sort of other meeting, presenting in person or presenting virtually. I want to bring that same energy to these videos. Today, it's an audition, but it still is what I consider to be a presentation so I want to make sure that I am delivering that good energy. It's the afternoon and I will practice for a few minutes a section of my talk. Maybe I'll take a five minute section and practice it for about 30. I'll change the way I say things. I do this work in front of a full length mirror. So I'm able to see how I am physicalizing the presentation. This often just gives me some good insight. Also keeps the material fresh in my mind. You got to practice if you really want to get good at speaking. I also create a certain amount of content. I'm writing articles every week, recording podcasts, videos, taking care of those things, sharing my expertise. In effect, I am presenting just in a different format. Sometimes you can have your day planned out and you get a curveball. A meeting planner contacts you about an event. For me, it's important to get back to them as soon as possible, so I may have to drop everything, respond. Or there have been a few times when I thought, oh, I'm done for the day, it's 6 p.m., and oh, there's an email right here about a meeting. Ken, you're still working. Respond to the message. For me, that's just the way you've got to do it. I hope you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look. Speakers work very hard to make their time on the platform seem effortless, there's a lot of things that have to happen in order to be successful. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, if you're looking for a speaker, I might know a guy. Love to talk to you about your upcoming event. I'm Ken Okel. Take care.